Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with the Bible Scraps and welcome to Curating Christmas 2017, Sharing Joy. Curating Christmas is a yearly Christmas series that's sponsored by Jill Norwood. I will have her channel linked in my description box. It's really fun. Crafters, they come together and they share what they're creating with focus on their Christmas sure, how many setup. years Jill um, has been doing Curating for Christmas. I think this might be my third year. If you guys have not checked out her channel, do check her out. She's a lovely lady, and she's known for the beautiful cards and tags that she creates. She inspires so many in the crafting world, including myself, and I'm honored to participate this year with Cure Ready for Christmas. Now, you guys, I have something to share. This video won't be all about the pretty setup. I am coming to you just as I am. <laughs> it's a huge mess. What I'm gonna do is span this area and then come back and show you what I want to focus on. This particular video, it's not about my setup because I'm not done setting up and I won't be done this year. But I still wanted to participate and I want to focus on some thrifted upcycled pieces along with all this mess that's Already in this Christmas space. is about the setup. And Jill, if I'm wrong, please let me know. I've watched a lot of videos and the videos I've seen Everyone pretty much has a pretty setup, but your setup don't have to necessarily be pretty. It could just be what you do and what you create. And so though these colors are pretty, I mean, it's not a pretty setup. So, you know, for those of you who want to participate and you feel like you don't have a pretty enough setup, participate anyway. Come as, as you are. We show our own versions of where we create. I love that magazine that showcases crafters from different genres. It showcases their crafty rooms and their setups. Now, I... <laughs> okay, so I have been in the painting spirit, right? It started with this tray here. I shared a video. I purchased three of these trays from the thrift store, brought them home, painted them, added contact paper, and from that day on, let me tell you, I have been painting everything I could think of. I tell you, I was in the painting spirit so hard, I could have painted my whole house and every, all of my neighborhood houses too, if I still wasn't recovering from a broken ankle. <laughs> so as I painted different pieces, and by the way, these pieces you see on my table, they're all thrift store finds. Uh-huh. Once again, I'll come back and share with you my thrifted upcycle setup. But I needed a place to store things as I painted them. So um, as I did that, I thought, oh, it would be cool to turn my kitchen table into a nice crafty setup. But you know what, people? It didn't happen. It's not going to happen today is Wednesday the 12th and after this video I will put all of these things away yes I am closing up shop early this year <laughs> I just don't feel like it you know sometimes we have years like that now before I go any further let me remind you all what the true meaning of Christmas is all about Jesus is the reason for the season. Jill's theme this year is spread joy. Check out this stamp. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, thankful in prayer. And that's Romans 12 and 42. Now you guys, I have a lot of joy to share. Let me tell you, next week I will have a His Birth devotional sharing all the joy that you will need, not just for this holiday season, but it will take you far into New Year's. So if you are interested in all things about his birth, be sure to check out my devotional. And if I could pull it off, it's going to be live. 
But in one of my trays, I just have a lot of... Um, Oh, and by the way, too, you guys, I have been crafting. If you've been following me, you know I have been doing gingerbread creations along with his birth creations. This is that beautiful teddy bear wrapping paper I found. I shared that in a video the other day. But, um, yeah, it's just a lot of this and a lot of that. I love to collect these vintage-looking light bulbs. I use these as decorations. And then, in this tray, I have some gingerbread stuff. You know, I went back and forth with should I set up and should I not set up. And then I just decided I, I have time, but then I don't have time. I need my table. This table has been cluttered with stuff for a couple months. And then I cleared the table off. But during that same time, I started painting. And so it got I cluttered. probably can't recognize this, but it's that Wonder Woman baking tray from the 70s I got from the thrift store. She's all painted up. Look at her. Okay, so what else? You guys, um, I know this is messy. I did not intend on this being curating for Christmas. But, you know, sometimes it's like that. And it is what it is, right? Um, we would love to be organized. We would love to do things decently and in order, but it don't always happen. I mean, Christmas is the most busiest time of the year. Okay, inside my mailbox. Oh, this little gingerbread. He is super duper cute. He's thrifted, you guys. I got him half off a dollar. <laughs> oh, and these pillows. Okay. They are special to me because these pillows, number one, they're super adorable, right? Well, they were created by one of my project subby lunchies. Her name is Angie. I launched her channel this year. And okay, so she's not on YouTube a lot because she's very busy right now. But she did share a tutorial on making these mason jar little pillows. And there is a gingerbread here somewhere. Where is he? He's my fave. Well, she sent me a whole set. Thank you so much, Angie. I wanted to make some of these this year, hopefully next year. But if you guys are interested in her tutorial, I'll have that linked below. Go give her some subby love, subscribe to her channel. She loves primitive, right? These pillows are primitive. So I love her style. In her intro video, she gives everyone a taste of her creativity. The girl is bad, let me tell you. <laughs> a lot of you YouTubers out there, you watch videos, but you don't share. And you guys are more creative than the so ones anyway, who share. Thank you, Angie, for my lovely set of pillows. Had I had the time to decorate oh this would look so much better right but once again you guys it is what it is okay what else what's back here oh ah <laughs> okay so i have been collecting vintage cake picks cupcake toppers so here's a whole bag of those i've used some of those in projects and then i got these these are really old I think these are from the 50s or 60s so super cute and I cannot leave out the angels and I have other ones too but they're buried look at these angels so the stick part is acrylic oh I love that okay what else what else what else um down here these are stickers I picked up last year after sale and i've actually used some of these to make tags i have not shared those yet um I'm not gonna focus a lot on my gingerbread stuff because i'll feature and showcase all my gingerbread things i've collected this year at my gingerbread haul party yes I'm having a gingerbread haul party this year. But I do want to share. Look at these stickers, you guys. Some of you may remember these. Well, these are scratch and sniff stickers from the 80s. <laughs> and you know what? They still smell good. <laughs> 
I love them. As a matter of fact, I've gotten into collecting the vintage scratch and sniff stickers from different themes. And I love these. So happy so to I have I apologize them. for any shake shake, you guys. I am holding this camera with my good arm, which I'm still recovering from a separated shoulder from July. So I apologize for the shake shake. But you are looking at a dedicated space in my craft room in a cabinet that I endeavor to dedicate to whatever season it is. Last year, I pretty much had a large portion of my craft room decked out and decorated with gingerbread, but I didn't do that this year. As you can see, I have things that have fallen over. Let me tell you, I tried to do the nice setup, but when I would go and get ribbon or get a dye, everything would fall over. So I have things on the ground. I have things in the drawers from falling over and yeah. In the next couple days, all this stuff too will be put away because I'm closing shop early this year, you guys. Sometimes, you know, you know, let me tell you this. Okay, so I didn't decorate this year, but I did buy one of those pretty dress form trees from Tuesday morning. I got mine in November and people, I have it out and have yet to light the tree up. So I don't even know if it works. <laughs> but I am in my spirit, in the Christmas spirit. I just, I don't know. I just feel the need to wrap up shop early this year and get a head start on the new year. Clearing out my trays, but that was too overwhelming. So messy it is, you guys. Messy it is. Okay, so the color scheme. I am not a shabby girl. These colors just kind of came together. It started with painting these trays. I started with paint, spray paint I already had, and then I picked up a couple colors. And so these colors just kind of just came together. And you know what? I'm quite pleased, though I'm not a shabby chic type of crafter. Starting with this piece here. Um, well, it's a thrift store piece. I found that this year and it was white and I gave it a two-toned pink color with a little distressing of brown. Not sure if you could see that. And I love how it turned out. Now, those posts that this piece is resting on, let me just say, nothing on my table, you guys, is secured. So I got to be really, really careful. I got those posts from the thrift store. I shared a huge um, lot of, let me just pan this way, of these Wilton Cake Tears. Check it out. Of course, they were white. Well, I brought them home and gave them a fresh coat of paint. So what you're looking at is just an example of how I may use this piece in the future. Probably not, though. Yeah, if I if I walk next to that and blow, it's going to fall. <laughs> but um, if I could look, hold this from the top and show you the different colors Different colors of pink and, of course, brown, my favorite color, and that cool blue color, aqua, just absolutely love that. And so I I have enough to make at least two of these tiers, and I thought to use them for my crafty space. So be on the lookout, you know, for this setup in the future. Now, these candles, I shared those recently in a video those candles are from the 70s. I spray painted that one a frost color. They're called the Uncandle. And I'll be sharing a couple sets with a couple of you YouTubers. Okay, so you guys, this mailbox. I shared this in a video a couple years ago. I got it from an antique fair. Didn't pay that much well, for it. I have since, of course, you see, painted it my favorite color brown. And I'm using the post that goes with the tears, the cake tears. I got three different types of um, pillars. Well, I'm using it to house my very, I love this mailbox. <laughs> so I can't show you the other, um, the other side. Okay, so this little piece right here is a little rocker. I spray painted that. You see the chocolate and the aqua blue. And let's see, what else? Oh, the tray, you guys. 
I shared three of these in a recent video. I love them. They're my craft station. You can use them to store things. But look at my mini pillars. <laughs> also, I'm part of that cake tier collection. Okay, so there is one item that is not thrifted. And it's this Santa Soleil that used to be white. I got this last year or the year before. Well, I gave it a coat a light coat of brown spray paint. Love it! Oh, it's attached to another thrifted item. And this thrifted item um, was white and I spray painted it pink. It's in the shape of a heart. The cool thing about these this color scheme, if I wanted to, I could keep it out for Valentine's. Yeah, because it's chocolate, it's pink, and even the cool blue, the aqua color, I think will go perfect for Valentine. Okay, I also spray painted this piece. <laughs> it's one of those acrylic holders you can get from your office supply store. Yeah, I thought, why not? You know, it's thrifted. Why not paint it pink? I told you guys, I was in the painting spirit. And then I picked up this shoe. I think this is a thrift store find, you guys. Well, I gave it a coat of pink spray paint. And you probably can't see this in the back. It's holding some gingerbread books. It's a little rack. Okay, so I shared some tags, some tags on a hanger. And then I thought to look for a little um, mini rack to hold my hanger tags and i found this from the thrift store i gave it a coat of paint you know if i remember i'll hang a couple tags right there just to give you an idea of what i'm talking so about i'm not sure if you can see my little um apron tag hanging on that rack so super cute okay so i want to find one that's smaller and um, hang up all of my tags with a hanger. So stinking cute. I will definitely make more tags on a hanger. I just absolutely my most love it. recent thrifted upcycled acquisition is what you are looking at right here. I am calling this my um my mint candy station. Okay, so a thrift store find. I paid 10 bucks for this. <laughs> you know how you buy something and it's not um, priced? And I got to the cash register to get a price and she said 12 bucks. And I was like, nah, put it back. But I knew I wanted it when I first saw it. I knew how I would use it. I used to see a lot of these back in the days and never picked it up. And then she went down to 10 bucks. After I asked her, I said, are you sure that was really $12? Because it seemed to be really expensive, but I'm so happy I got it. It's so worth it. As you can see, I gave it a two-toned finish in the two pinks, and it's filled with all things gingerbread. These came from Elise, my gingerbread soulmate. We recently had a swap together. And so I have different types of candy canes and mints. And of course, right here, you see a little gingerbread I cut from some ribbon. So I am totally in love with this piece. I keep this on my desk just so I can look at it. Isn't it stinking cute? And these little holders, there's a name for this, I forget, but it's the perfect size. And the paint took very well. I to this share some tags I've created this year right but first of all take a look at my precious moment his birth um scene there this is a ceramic book heavy it plays music and it lights up and that's a thrifted fine and I will be sharing my tags in one of my upcycled thrifted trays starting with what Christmas is all about one of my favorite tags ever. I used early 1900th century scrapbooking paper to create these tags that says Merry Christmas has the angel making the trumpet sound, glory to the newborn king, talk about good news, right? That's the best news ever. And then I have it dated December 25th, 1925 or 29. I think the paper 
It's dated that date. And I have the angel outlined in glitter. This is a beautiful tag, very, very special. I also made another his birth tag and very simple, but it shows Mary and Joseph, of course the baby Jesus and some animals at his birth. Love that gold card stock. And then I made um, a house tag. I love this one. And then here's one of my junk gingers. Love me some gingerbread anything. So there's the boy and there's the girl. Use my scraps. Actually, my strips of fabric that I made with my paper shredder. I shared a video on that. And then here's that cute apron tag on a hanger. Well, definitely next year, if the Lord say the same, make more of those. And here's one of my ginger shakers. I upcycled these from rings I found at Tuesday morning. Look at all that shake shake. And do you see the too many gingers? Oh, those are, yeah, those are boys, but they're in there and they shake. And then here's a cute little ginger. And then one of my pocket gingers here. So stinking cute. And then my ginger or gingerbread in a sleigh. So love. You guys, I have videos on these, including, oh, this is a cute one. Ginger in a mug. Uh-oh. Little pop-up part. It's coming apart. So love this one. This reminds me of um, Jill, of your, your, um, your very classic, <laughs> very beautiful um, teacup arrangement. And then check out this one, you guys. I wanted to bring more of these this year. You know what? I I don't know if I can. But if the Lord say the same, Christmas in July. I love my tag in a bag or bag tag, whatever. So super love this one. And then, oh, I got to bend down to get them. Okay. This one is still not finished, but she's on a hanger. And then, now this one really is reminiscent of yours, Jill. The little gingerbread in a mini or smaller teacup. Window. And then I'll give you guys a sneak peek of my latest gingerbread creation. I have not shared this one in a video. I'll probably share it tomorrow, but it's my shabby, <laughs> my shabby, gingerbread made with the largest gingerbread dye I, I was have. in my garage today. Oh, I was forced to go out there and look inside of boxes looking for tags I made last year but didn't have a chance to share. Thank God I found the tags. But I came across my cute handmade ribbon bow wreath ornaments. I shared a tutorial last year of these and I pulled out just one. It's of his birth because once again, Christmas is all about the birth of Christ. He is the reason for not just the Christmas season, but for every season. I didn't have a chance to make more of these this year, but I did share these as gifts. Hey guys, okay, I shared a recent video of this big boot asking help on how to decorate it. Thank you all for your suggestions and your ideas. I have yet to decorate it yet, but thus far, this is what I came up with. This tree I got from the thrift store, paid about four bucks for it. And you know what? <laughs> it's hanging from the wall. And I thought how cool it would be to hang right into the boot. And then I have a little bit of wrap, a little bit of trim wrapped around the boot. And on the inside of the boot, I have my Black Santa wrapping paper that I recently shared and other wrapping paper. I think that turned out so cute with that yes. Christmas tree. To share our favorite Christmas icon. Well, if you have been following me, you know I am a gingerbread fanatic. But Jill, I don't know why. <laughs> 
I tried to think of it. I thought, well, my favorite color is brown and the gingerbread man or girl is brown, but I don't think that's it. I don't know why. I'm fascinated with all things gingerbread. I don't recall childhood a lot, so I don't know if I liked the gingerbread back then, but I believe so. <laughs> I don't think this fascination came out of nowhere. So you are looking at a thrift store find. I actually found this a couple years ago and it was stored in my garage and I forgot all about it. And she lights up. <laughs> Let me turn off this light to see. Look at her. Oh, now she is dusty, dirty people. I did get most of the dust off of her, but I need to give her a new necktie, a new ribbon because she's dusty, dirty. But this is how I want to conclude my video with this cute light up ginger wooden I piece. I thank you for hosting what I believe and many believe um, has become a timeless classic yearly Christmas series. Thank you so much for curating for Christmas. And I pray that you have a beautiful and wonderful Christmas filled with lots of joy. And thank all of you for watching. Be sure to check out Jill's channel once again, linked in my description box. And Merry Christmas to all. As always, blessings.